Hello and welcome to Winslow Academy. In the last three lectures we saw how we could make our little Starcraft bot that first of all creates supply depot, then a barracks and then it creates some marines. In this part 4 we want to attack our enemy with the marines that we created. So we'll build on top of what we have built so far and if you haven't seen the three previous parts then I recommend you to do so to get the code that we are working with right now. So first of all we'll be reusing some of the code that we did before. Here I will be copy pasting some of the code that we have done which is not that intuitive and if you want to optimize this you should of course build single line methods that can be used multiple times instead of having them copy paste. But this part 4 is the last lecture where we'll be doing so and it is also the last lecture where we'll be doing this kind of static programming of the bot because here it will always do the same steps and there is really that not that much machine learning. But this is all to give you an introduction to how this framework works before we start to build on an AI that will utilize these functions. And then we will get rid of some of the code that we have written and some of the other code will simply be rewritten in order to adapt it to how that AI is going to work. So we'll be creating an attack method and in here we will say marine, we'll keep this because we still want our units to be the marines and here instead of having less or equals to 4 we will say if the length is higher than 5 marines. We don't want to select the barracks here, we want the marines to be selected and in here we will simply say if action and functions and there is an attack screen dot id and that means that we have selected the marines, we will be doing the select part in a few minutes and when we are selecting the marines we will be able to attack with them because that is a function that you have in Starcraft when selecting units. So if the attack screen ID is present then we will be returning true because it's available or else we will be returning false. So now that we have this little attack function we will go back up here in our step function and we will just be creating this right after the you no know, we'll just say yeah we'll do it here so right after we have the build marine check so here we'll say marines and then we will say units like we have right here so we can copy this so as you see here we are reusing the same code a lot and that is because we want to get used to how this works so it's really if you want to build on top of this and do it with another faction than Terran, it's really easy for you to adapt. So we'll just be changing this again to Marine because it is the Marine that we want. And then we will say if the length of the Marines, because here we are going to have a list of all Marines and that is higher than five, similar to what we defined in our attack method here. If that is higher than five, uh, 5, then we will say a single marine should be equal to just a random choice of our entire marines. And then we will simply just say return actions and then we will say functions dot select point and we will do a select all type and we want it to be the marine.x and marine.y because of the coordinates similar to what we have done with the barrack and the scv so now that we have this we will simply just be saying if attack which were the method we created right here so now we are calling this function if that and we need the self and the observation because this function is constantly relooping and observing what it sees on the screen and then we will say if that is true we will simply just be return an action and that is to be a attack minimap action and as I have told in previous parts you can go into these 
methods and for example on the functions you can click deeper into functions then you will get into actions and here you will see all the different actions that you have available and we have our attack functions here so we'll be using the attack minimap and we will just say zero because we don't want it to be queued units and the coordinates we are going to be attacking is 19 23 because we are probably going to start in the bottom right corner so this is again static and in the next lecture part 5 we'll be rereading this and be doing it in a two two way such that the machine learning but will simply learn by itself where, where it's placed on the map and then it will go search for the enemy instead of us telling it that go directly to this location because what is the what if the enemy is not there, then we are just standing there doing nothing. So with this last line, we will hit execute. We'll just move this to the side so that we can see the actual game and the actions we have available. So first off, we are creating a supply depot. Following that, we are creating a barracks right down here, and you'll also see it here. So we can just move our screen here. And then when once we have created six marines, we'll be selecting them and we are going to attack. Because uh, we've ridden higher than five, that is why we are selecting six marines or waiting for us to have six marines. If we set higher than and equal to five, then once we reach the number of five marines, we will just be selecting and going to attack. And what you will see here is that we are probably going to lose because it's not that good of a strategy to build one barracks and just wait for six marines to pop out and go attack because the enemy will probably have more units than us now. So before we reach part five, I want you to go into the code that you have written and optimize it so that you, instead of one barrack, build two barracks and then train double marines such that you are outputting two marines every time. And as we saw, we our marines didn't attack anything and that is because we misplaced this if statement here attack we misplaced it under this if length of marines where we are selecting the marines and the reason why that caused our marines to stop attack or don't move at all is because of the static way we have implemented this so when, once we read this if statement it will continue to return this select right here and never get further down the line so we just put our tag up here because that will first get executed based on the parameters here once we have selected the marines so if you try to execute this again So now we are back and it should continue in the same path as before with a supply depot, a barrack, six marines and then it should attack.
So now we just need two marines more. And now we have the marines and they are moving. So they will be attacking right here. So let's see what the enemy has. It has some... Oh, so we are playing a Zerg right here. That means that we actually might win this because they don't have that many units. So we killed off the units and the drones. And back here we are recurring new units for the next attack. So if you want to have a secure win, then you should change the code to have more than one barracks and play a little around with this and maybe make uh, other units and upgrade them before you go to part 5 which will be uploaded uh, in a few days after this video has come up. So remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more in this StarCraft 2 AI tutorial.